Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today we got the Worldwide Celebration Special Edition of Battlefield, aka Ultimate Clash Part 1. Which means we will be getting a Part 2 at some point during the Worldwide Celebration. I think, in fact, it does actually say, if we go back out to the menu, uh, that it resets in 16 days. So the Worldwide Celebration is going to start in 7 days. We know because we're getting the countdown lo uh, loading screens now. So that means we will be getting the part two basically after the first week or so of the worldwide celebration. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight in. Um, I haven't looked into any of this stuff yet. Uh, it does have three stages, so it is like a normal um, one. I'm assuming, if we have a look, how many in enemies does it show on here? Oh, it does actually show that the last boss is in. So yeah, just like the normal battlefield setup, the last boss is the same typing as the um, first boss. So normally then what we want to do is we want to go in against the first boss and just use our... Well, actually, there's two anyway, but go in against the first boss and use a team like the Ginyu Force or the Bardock team or something like that so that we can save both of the teams that will be type advantaged against the last boss uh, for the last boss, right? So what I normally like to do for the first phase is we just grab the two Bardocks and then we grab a team of low class warriors or mostly team Bardock units. And then we jump in that way and then we should get a pretty straightforward uh, clear here with this team. So, Alright, yeah, we start off with the double Bardock rotation, which is not ideal, but... First stage battlefield, we're not expecting the uh, enemy to be particularly tough here or anything, so... Usually these first phases of super, uh, super power, these first phases of the... Uh, worldwide... I'm losing all the words here. The first phases of the battlefield stages, you are just one-shotting the enemies, so... But yeah, Super Battle Road stages also came out today. I'll still be doing the No Item Run videos for those. I kind of, uh, at this point, I don't know if anyone else, I don't even know if, I mean, Truth must do because he does videos on everything, but I don't know if anyone else even does the Super Battle Road videos anymore because uh, they definitely are like the worst performing videos on the channel, which is crazy considering they used to be the best ones and how I like built up my channel back when Super Battle Road was obviously still difficult and having the whole no items like Super Battle Road King rivalry with Truth and all of that stuff. But like, um, it very much seems, I mean, like, it goes part and parcel with the fact that, that that content is just not difficult anymore. So it's kind of pointless. Um, it's very easy to just jump in and beat it with any team you want, especially with the fact you can use eight items. Um, <clears throat> but even the no item runs just aren't as impressive anymore. Like most of the normal Super Battle Road stages, ESBR can still be a little bit finicky sometimes because you can get supered for big damage. So slot one super attacks can always, you know, end the run, even if you're like, you know, you get to the third fight and then you get double slot one supered or something. Whereas the normal Super Battle Road stages, I think almost all of them that have come out in the last like year or so, uh, we've just like no item to them on the first try. So... But yeah, we got Wheelow, Garlic Jr. and the Goku and Piccolo with the final boss. Obviously, we're kind of kind of like the login screens here. I guess we're going with the um, like each of the movies building up as the stages. Uh, this, I guess, will be the last time we use LR Turles without his EZA. That's coming out on Friday. Obviously, I will have the team building guide video for that up tomorrow. Um, right, so he's supering immediately. So I bring uh, Jace on the team because he has the scouter. Um, Obviously, in a situation like this, where the super attack is in slot one, there's not really anything I can do about it, so... But STR Cooler should be fine. Um, but yeah, these guys, the Int, Piccolo, and Goku, did get that update in the files, um, which usually, in the past, has always led to that unit getting an easy A pretty soon after that, so we could be expecting um, their easy A. I don't know if it would be part of the countdown celebration because we had the countdown news thing out already today. So probably not, I guess. But maybe early on in the celebration or even in the second part, who knows. Because whilst we know the first part is definitely Broly related, I did a video yesterday talking about possible easy A's and stuff. But whilst there's some interesting super easy A candidates as well, when it comes to just a normal easy A, there's not a lot of summonable units left that are like from the Broly movie specifically. So we could get a bunch of EZAs that are 
like just movies in general related. So of course those guys could get their easy A in either part of the worldwide celebration. Hopefully they are good because they're a unit that I think even from when they first came out, even when I got them, I've like barely ever used them. So ideally they need to be a unit that is good enough that we then end up actually wanting to use them on a bunch of these teams. Um, Cause they're not on a lot of like crazy categories. Um, they are at least on Movie Heroes, but of course Movie Heroes is like a crazy stacked team at the moment. So their EZA honestly will have to be something really, really good um, in order for them to be an impressive unit. I mean, EZAs lately have all been pretty good. Very much looking forward to that Toles Army one on Friday um, and getting to try them out on some different teams. Um, be fun to see them. They were my favourite yellow coin LR like when they first came out, so... Definitely looking forward to that, but in Piccolo and Goku, hopefully we'll get a solid easy A, but we'll have to wait and see. So Extreme AGL, um, just throw a bunch of Extreme AGL characters on the team. I know somebody got an easy A recently that I should really have added to the team, and I completely cannot remember who it is. I guess Meki Cabra is going to get his this year with the Heroes units. Bearing in mind if we still get a hero celebration, which hopefully we do. I'd be very disappointed if uh, we don't. I mean, whether they knew that Heroes itself was going to be discontinued, like, um, this year. Dokon did, a, they have already said, like, back in that Q&A thing for, like, the ninth, was it for the ninth anniversary? About how they've got all the content planned out, like, basically up until the 10th anniversary. Um... So, chances are they knew that it was going to end uh, this year. Or even if they didn't, they would have had this year's Hero Celebration planned out already. So, we should hopefully still get a Hero Celebration this year, even if it does end up being the last one. Um, but yeah, Meki Cabra's Easy A is one that I'm super looking forward to. Tech God Trunks should be getting his as well. The Xeno Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta, who are like the respective for their family, like support characters. Those guys with easy A's could be super good. Like the Int Vegeta on that Tech Vegeta Saiyan Day team. Um, you imagine like him with the rotation of like the Tech Vegeta, King Vegeta, and then that Xeno Vegeta. That would be a very, very good rotation. So, all right, we've got Tree of Might Goku. We've already used our Extreme Tech team, so we use the Super Tech team here. It's all under your leader skill. Um... Who's the secondary leader? You, yeah, because you're just tech types. So, there we go. Oh, yeah, I changed my tech team so that we could use tech UI Goku because he does have an interesting set of categories as his lead. We still haven't got, like, certain units on the team that would be good to run, but having um, the fact that we're up against a pure Saiyan boss this time around is good as well for uh, God Goku getting his passive active um grab these i guess to get the rainbow orbs i was hoping we could get two orbs to drop for go tanks but i guess we'll just get the 12 key for him i mean so far none of these stages have been particularly tanky i think we talked about this back when we had the special battlefield for the anniversary and i think the worldwide one is basically the same where when they do these special edition battlefields for these big celebrations i think they do deliberately make them a little bit easier I mean, the first two levels uh, are pretty easy anyway, but I mean, the fact that we almost one shot the boss with this Tech Gohan um, kind of goes to show like these big celebration special edition battlefields, they obviously want people who are coming back to the game or who are newer players to be able to complete these because you get a decent amount of stones um, as well as some other items along the way, right, for beating all the missions. So they don't want the missions to be too difficult for everybody to complete. So they're usually not that difficult. But yeah, all of these leading up to Android 13. So I guess that means the final boss probably is going to be Broly, right? So Super AGO. Actually, no, it said Super Class, right? So, and it's Super In. I wonder if it's the Super Saiyan Trio then, if the last enemy is Super Saiyan 3. Um, if the last enemy is Android 13. So, Goku Family slash Super AGL, and then Super AGL for you. Throw these guys on here. You can probably stun cooler, so. But yeah, these fights have definitely been a little bit on the easier side, which is good. Like I say, everybody be able to complete them, get some decent rewards. Okay, he can't be stunned, but he can be sealed. Um, 
So let's do this. Put you there. Let you get a stack. And then grab those. You get a bunch of extra key from the rainbow orbs. Uh, Pan has that super attack effect. Obviously buff all the allies as well. Because, yeah, now they're on level 3, this is where we would expect the bosses to be a little bit harder. I mean, you think about the Battlefield reset that we've just had, where we have the Metal Cooler. And a lot of people telling me that they were either struggling with Metal Cooler, or struggling with Evil Boo or Fat Boo on the third level. Um, and then you compare that to, like, this guy, where... I mean, we're not using the craziest units here, and we're not using, like, double 200% leads or anything. Um, but we have done, like, almost half of his health just in the first turn. So, <clears throat> I think comparably, this one is certainly easier than the previous Battlefield one that we just had, right? That just reset um, with the Metal Cooler. Which, of course, will be back after the Worldwide Celebration. But, um, okay, yeah, this is a good, good rotation. Uh, do this. I do want to make sure I get, yeah, there we go. If I had to grab those for you, we can get the full set of orbs for PyCon for his support and everything. So we should be all good here. <clears throat> Let you get some build up. Good old STR Final Form Cooler's Super Attack Animation. It'll be a long way away, but when this guy gets a Super Easy A, it'll be super fun to use him again. I mean, his Super Attack does hit relatively hard, but he can be sealed. So always remember when it comes to these Battlefield uh, fights to try and bring units in your lineup that have these abilities like stunning, sealing, attack lowering and stuff like that. Because not... Every boss is necessarily going to be susceptible to all of those abilities, but Cooler can be sealed. So if you put a couple of sealers on your team and you get one on turn one, um, obviously, of course, there's always the RNG where he super attacks literally before the unit that can seal seals him. But it does obviously make things considerably easier if you're able to lock down these bosses. So, yeah, this guy can't be attack lowered or defense lowered or stunned, but he can also still be sealed. So, Super STR. Yeah, my Super STR team is like Beast's leader skill, basically. So, we have like the superheroes characters on here. I mean, <laughs> Super STR with Beast Gohan on there. I mean, it's not going to be... Uh... Watch him put Beast Gohan in slot 7. Okay, no, he's on the second turn. Okay. Well, let's see how well UI Goku can uh, actually get some dodges off here in slot 1. good okay well he dodged the super which i guess is honestly the most important one and he, t he only took double digits from the normal so i suppose it's not the end of the world straight out to a 12 mil attack stat yeah having the 50 percent supports so i guess they're the 60 percent now but like carver pan like second form cell all those units those units are so good for battlefield because they are the perfect like sub leaders if you can fit them under like a category because sometimes it's hard to find two category leaders extreme tech is a good example because you've got like zamasu and the android who are both worldwide chaos so that one's quite easy but for like super agl specifically um mixing and matching like the categories to then make a full team can be kind of awkward extreme int as well so having those supports to throw in where they have like the 150% lead. Very, very useful. Or is it 130? Either way, it lets you build the team a lot easier around one category by having your main leader be a category leader and then having them as the secondary leader. But UI Goku and Future Gohan absolutely destroying Metal Cooler. So yeah, you can see this one so much easier than the standard Battlefield. So we've got Android 13, he is uh, tech, so super int for me is Bond of Master and Disciple. Both those guys lead that team. So then we can throw you on there, we San Vados, and then you for the support. Uh, anyone, any of these battlefield enemies where they can be like stun sealed and attack lowered and stuff like that, having like the units like Vados, who does attack lowering and sealing all at the same time. This guy is also immune to everything except sealing. So I think that was what, all three of these bosses from like the level three? were immune to all the status effects apart from ceiling which i don't think weiss does i think weiss might only lower attack which obviously we can't do but we got trunks and vegeta in slot one it's a shame that these guys are a little bit aged out now for the most difficult content we did actually use them during a challenge run stream recently in a blue zone stage i can't remember which one it was um and we did actually, I think we used double leads, so we managed to actually beat the event. But 
Obviously, when it comes to the toughest bosses in the game, these guys are definitely aged out now. Um, they're not going to be tanking supers. I mean, even post super attack with their guard and in slot one, like I guess they will be will be tanking like normals relatively well until we start getting to those harder hitting bosses, or especially the ones that like raise attack when they super. But yeah, I always liked the Vegeta and Trunks unit, but they are a little bit outdated now. So Battlefield, of course, is another another one of these units where Battlefield is a great place to be able to use them again. Yellow coin LRs are really good for Battlefield because obviously their leader skill, whilst it's not meta level, like we're, you know, running 150% leads, super good for Battlefield as a sub leader. Um, probably could make a whole new extreme STR setup now that Cell Max is out as well, to be fair. But. So yeah, if we do this, I mean, Vegeta's going to be fine in slot one, Vados in slot two for the. Uh, See, I mean, I say for the ceiling as if, like, Vegeta's not just going to kill him. Let's be fair. Because <laughs> Vegeta gets a bit of support from the Vados as well. So, I wouldn't be surprised, especially if he crits, if he just one-shots him here. Yeah. <laughs> There's that KO screen. Love to see it. All right, so the final boss. Is it going to be the Super Saiyan Trio? I feel like as it is Super In and the last enemy was Android 13, that would make a lot of sense. Hey, there you go. <clears throat> Alright, good times. How did he guess? I mean, it was fairly obvious. I didn't know beforehand, but I feel like... I, th I thought it was going to be Broly, like I said, but we did see the list of enemies at the beginning, and it did say super physical, so I guess it had to be. But we use our extreme physical team, the Margin Power team, um, with Bootengs as the lead and the physical Super Boo as the sub-lead. Obviously, Kid Boo on the team is very, very strong. Uh, the evil Boo is just there as the extra character. He's like an awakened SR. But, I mean, he does at least have built-in dodge. Um, hopefully he won't get destroyed. He can seal, and these guys can be sealed as well. So all of the enemies in this final set can all be sealed. And that's the only stats effect you can put on them. But, obviously, that is very good. Shame that they're super attacking immediately in slot 1. But it means evil Boo will seal them in slot 3. So we won't have to worry about a super next turn. Um, and we should do a pretty decent bit of damage this turn. I mean, Boo Tanks, although he doesn't have big bad bosses yet, getting the big support from Kid Boo. Um, Kid Boo hits relatively hard as well, to be fair. Um, obviously a lot harder when he's like fully built up as well. But Nice. So do a decent bit of damage with you. Dodge the normal, of course. Couldn't dodge the super at the beginning of the turn. But 13 mil. I mean, they're basically already dead. <laughs> I wonder if they, like, will they have a second phase where it's just, like, the AGL Spirit Bomb Resolve Goku, maybe? Probably not, because, again, this battlefield is obviously designed to be on the easier side, but... Yeah, so that dodge, he was a, he was a bit of a liability there, that's for sure, but... Um... Who has the highest defense? He is actually Evil 21. Okay, so we'll do that. Then we can get the physical orbs for you. Gives us a nice heal. And then there we go. They're sealed, so we know they're not going to super attack me. We take double digits from the normals. And so... I wonder if we'll, we'll, will we be done this turn? Because, I mean, 21's probably the one that does the most damage. Um, although we did get a decent amount of orbs for the physical super blue, actually. So, I think what's probably going to happen is 21 won't quite kill them. And then... Super Boo will. Which, yeah. She didn't get a third super, which actually may have finished the job, so... Super Boo, 7 mil. I think mine only has one dupe. But he gets the crit. And that is all she wrote. So, I don't think there's a secret level 4. Because, again, if it wasn't one of these things where we were saying, like, they make this a little bit easier so everybody could do it, I would expect, like, a second phase or something if the first one was that straightforward. But, level 3 clear. Do we get a... Is there a secret stage 4? No, there isn't. So, there you go. So the full battlefield clear done, as always, we get a few stones along the way for beating the stages. Does it have the normal missions where it's like, yeah, complete the whole thing three times? Um, because you have 16 days until it resets, there's obviously no rush to have to beat it three times, but you do want to make sure you've done it three times before that runs out, right? So in seven days time, well, actually it'll be Monday, so 
this coming Monday, we should get the weekly reset mission. Um, I usually wait to do the full clears until we get those, but obviously bear in mind that you don't want to miss doing all three runs before the reset, just so you can make sure you get all of the rewards. But we get a decent amount of stones, some Kai, some orbs, some medals, all that good stuff. So there you go. That was the full... Uh, worldwide celebration part one special battlefield let me know how you guys got on down below in the comment section like i said i can't imagine for any regular players even if you were struggling a little bit with the last battlefield that this one would be particularly difficult but let me know how you guys got on down below in the comment section so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out all the links down below and i will see you all again soon have a good one